Hey, love fucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, I just love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you're giving yourself. You know, even though, you know, you're giving me as well, but I know this time is really hard and we're going through so many different changes and I know I keep telling y'all that every video but you know I'll let you know I greatly appreciate the love and support that you give me throughout my videos and let me know that you know I can be a part of your journey you know making sense of the crazy things we go through on a daily basis and try to put understanding to the meanings of the things that we're going through so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you um, are comfortable enough please Please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback, the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. And also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes to peace and understanding you think somebody needs it at that point, please go ahead and share with them as well. And as you know, like I say, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and even share on your social media favor wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing me love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful music, y'all, it had me like going through some motions, like really beautiful motions. And it just so happened to match up with the, the situation I'm going through right now. So um, it's called Expand Your Divine Consciousness, Deep Cosmic Energy Healing and Laws of Attraction Plus Spiritual Music. Um, it's bringing up a lot of emotions. It's like very beautiful. You know, it's just like if you're feeling love from the divine source and, you know, you just get excited or you just get very emotional because you're grateful. Um, that That's what my video is supposed to be about today when divine consciousness is taking you to the next level. Um, Y'all, it's just so beautiful because it's like you're getting that new sense of, it's like opening a fresh prayer pair of eyes like if you've been blind for you know your whole life and then you finally got blessings to get like an eye transplant for you to be able to see all again or you know you, you're you're trying to get peace and understanding towards the crazy situations you've been put in and then you're seeing you know the 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 positive lesson it gave you in that situation you know it gives you positive meaning to you know the things that you're going through um it has you looking at people with no judgment you know even though there's times people can be you know very hateful at times but you know there there's things when people are like that i try to put understanding with the situation they're going through you know you know people struggle to love themselves every day so it's like you have to feel like okay hurt people hurt people um they go through many different changes of trying to love themselves trying to put understanding towards yourself and it's just like this new vibe that I feel, you know, because I went through a lot of release and yesterday and trying to give myself that understanding on why I was going through my situation. I cried a lot, you know, um, and that's a good thing to do is when you cry, you know, it wasn't, it was about sadness and, you know, feeling left out at certain situations, trying to put understanding to the reason why you're going through the things you're going through and, you know, knowing things are going to get better. You know, I, I try to, you know, even though I might be in some crappy situations, I try to look at the positive out of the situations that I'm going through. Knowing, you know, it can be frustrating. It can be very stressful. But when you can actually get that vibration from source, from divine, um, that love that, you know, when you're pushing it out towards people, you're getting it in return. I'm trying not to get emotional because it's so beautiful. But it, it's like it gives you a new meaning to life, you know, others, knowing that you can be able to bless other people with love like that. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry, y'all. I'm trying so hard not to cry. And it, it's just like, oh, my God. Um is going through that it's it's just like a really beautiful feeling especially like when i can feel it from my twin um just knowing i'm getting that love and vibration and you know i've been going through this on and off since this morning like you know i can really feel the love there and you know knowing that you know 
when it's been so long since you've been able to feel that just to finally you know embrace it because you know sometimes we can put this wall up and where you know we can be putting out as much positivity but if we're focused on that negative situation or if that's in our psyche in the back of our minds where you know there's times of our minds going through that you know that repeat of hurt repeat of trauma repeat of things that was you know that has happened to us in any kind of abuse when you can finally be able to let that go and say I'm not giving this situation power anymore I'm not giving that person that power over me anymore when I can allow the things that I went through for me to to learn from and be able to help others as well going through hardship you know that is a beautiful feeling and to be able to do that it is just like when I can feel that love from divine come in and it's like giving me that hug and let me know everything's gonna be okay and I'm really trying so hard not to cry right now because it's so beautiful and it's just like if you understand what that feels like you would know there's times you'll get emotional and just like you can feel it like you know I can feel my dad hugging me and that that's enough to make me break down and I'm just like oh don't do this to me right now he just laughs at me and tell me you're such a big cry baby you know you're so sensitive I'm like leave me alone it's okay you know I can't be a power ranger all the time you know but you know it's a good thing to cry you know because I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed to be able to feel that because I felt so much pain because I've lost so much but I can be grateful from that lesson of my my lostness if you want to be able to say it like that if it makes any sense I can be able to say that even though I've lost a lot of people in my lives even even when I haven't been like physically connected to them I can feel them all the time knowing that they're always there you know I feel my grams there I feel my grandfather here um, I feel my dad, I feel my baby brother, I feel my mom, my adopted mom, I feel my sister, you know, as well as, you know, if I said my dad, but, you know, I feel him all the time since he's my twin, I always talk to him every day, so it's just like missing the physicalness of him, you know, he always tells me, stop saying you miss me, I'm here, but it's like when you miss seeing that person, but it's just like a blessing when I miss him. I can always think about my conversations I've had with him. I can always go back to the pictures. I can always go look at his music and, you know, look at his concerts. And, I, you know, and I cry at times because I tell God, thank you for allowing, even though I wasn't able to get that spiritual connection, that physical connection. I have the spiritual and I have the metaphysical. And plus with him being my twin, you know, I have the essence with me all the time, that oneness. But, you know, there's a lot of people that are not blessed like that to be able when they have a loved one pass to be able to go through you know like that rolodex of you know videos or pictures you know well you might have the pictures but it's like the fact is I have pictures of my dad I can go back and see him perform um there's music that he's made for me you know there's a lot of things I can be blessed that I was grateful to be able to have you know and that is just a hard situation I have to deal with and you just know when you're blessed like that When you know you can be blessed like that, it's a beautiful feeling, you know. And I, I always try to make sure when I feel that love, I try to give it to other people because we really need that right now. And going through all those situations, it, it can be crazy. And it's like, why am I feeling so emotional? But I feel that love that's all around me right now. And it's like I'm getting hugs from everything. And I'm just like, oh, gosh, you know, I, I'm like, keep it going. But y'all stop because, it, it, you know, it can be overwhelming with emotions. So it's a beautiful thing to go through that and knowing that you're blessed, be able to, you know, I, I do things selfishly. I don't do it because I'm looking for something in return. But like I tell people a lot of times, I love what I do, even though it can be overwhelming at times because sometimes it's just so much because of other people's energies and, um, you know, especially I can feel what people are going through and that can be a lot for me. And it's just like knowing I can be able to bless somebody with that comfort to let them know, you know, you're not alone. You're not crazy. You know, even though the situation might put you in a certain dark spot, you know, you won't be there all the time. You have to go through that spiritual healing. To be able to know that you are truly loved and you have to go through this, it is like a process you have to go through. And it's just like this divine consciousness is like taking me to a level where I can appreciate all the, the hurt, the heartache, the, the, you know, the, 
the depression, the stress, and, and just know that that brought out such a, such a beautiful thing to know that, you know, you can be able to put, make sense to somebody else's crazy situation. It can give them confirmation that, you know, you're going through a generational curse that is soon going to be over. And the karmatic situation that you're in is soon going to cease. You just had to go through this situation. We've been through it for so many lifetimes. We played parts in each other's lives in different situations. And you know that you're going through this for a reason, but this is just going to be your last time. Oh, y'all, I hate ugly cries. <laughs> but this is your last time having to go through this. And you're, you're going to heal. It might be hard. But, you know, I've, I've been there. I've done that. I got a t-shirt, decal, and everything to go through it. It's just a process you had to go through. But knowing when you can release all that and knowing you can place, replace it with love is a very beautiful feeling. So, y'all, I hate getting emotional. I told y'all I hate crying, on, especially on video because it can get really ugly. But it, it's like this is beautiful emotions to know that my my pain was able to help somebody else make sense to what they were going through to know everything would be okay so you know i'm just like oh this is too much but i know it's, it's a beautiful feeling that i had to feel you know and i feel so much love right now and it's coming from all different directions you know when stress can come at you all different directions and when you know you can let down that wall and just surrender everything you can feel that love it's that is coming towards you as well so <laughs> when that divine consciousness can take you to where you can see so many beautiful things even though there's so much hell in the world but you can actually embrace the beautifulness out of that situation is a blessing so if anybody can resonate with the content of my video i'm sending so much love to you right now i'm sending you spiritual virtual hugs you know especially if you truly need them And know that, you know, everything is going to be okay. You know, you're going to go through things and, you know, just don't give up. Don't, even though it might be hard, don't give up because you will get there. And I hope you're able to resonate with this video. I said, y'all, I'm going to cut this short because it's just got me all up on different emotions right now. But they're beautiful. But I, I hate crying on tape. Oh, especially on camera. I hate that. So anyways, much love to y'all. Send out as much love and blessing as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing, you know, better days are coming for you. Don't give up on your dreams. No matter how hard it is and what's being thrown towards your way. Never, never give up. Because better days are coming. Um, I will see y'all in the next video. Much love. Peace. Be well.